What up party people? Normal service has resumed. For all of those not in the bike, so I apologize for the 13 videos I put up on that trip. For those that like the bikes, I apologize. You're gonna listen to a fat wad wheeze. Wad? Lad wheezing. Oh, got my little 30 litre pack on today. Loaded it to the gunnels. I'm going to a super, it's super, I can't talk today. Oh, going to a super secret spot. Um, yeah, got a tent I want to try out because I haven't tried it yet, the Star River 2. My hand is still clawed from the bike ride and got a couple of new things I'm trying. Um, there won't be reviews on them, don't worry. You'll see them. If you're interested, whip over and have a look on the review channel. Oh, it's good to be back out. I can't believe I'm keeping on the floor again though. But next week, definitely in my hammock. Anyhow, look at that. Absolutely stunning island. I've even brought my drone with me. Pretty sure I won't get it out because I never do. Anyway, bit of walking music and that shit delay. Eh? As ever beautiful little spot but it does look like some herbits have found it i'll have a little clear up there's odds and sods everywhere not too messy to be honest if it is young'uns they've not left it in shit state but plastic bottles it ain't ideal lads if you watch this sort it out huh? saying lads could be anyone couldn't it um got a little hammock set up it's in a douye type bleeding hammock they sent me years ago ain't no good for camping but it does make a good camp chair 
Star River 2. Um, I've got a little 10 C, 10 degree sleeping bag to go in there. The anti-slip mat from Outdoor Gear Essentials, which has pretty much come on every camp with me, Cole. Um, it's a proper good bit of kit. Outdoor Gear Essentials. Have a look at them. And thanks again, a massive thank you for sponsoring my trip with the prizes, which I will draw a few weeks after the final video comes out. Um, yep, got power packs and all sorts of stuff for me today to trial. As I say though, I ain't here to review them. They'll be in the review vid on my channel. It is a big power pack though. Uh, just shy of 60,000 milliamps or whatever it is. So if you think like the big power packs you get, about three of them can do uh, 12 volt AC, DC. It's got super fast charging, all that sort of stuff. And some of them have got, oh, what's it called? wireless charging on top that one ain't i got it because i could charge it off of the usb as i was riding my bike but as it turned out it didn't come with that lead and it turned up the day i left so i couldn't take it so i thought i might as well try it now definite overkill for what i need tonight but you gotta try these things ain't you ego flow river 2 i think it's called i'll show you it when i rig it up i nearly went for a burton have a little look see what we have here i can't see us getting bothered by anyone tonight can you it does look a little like rain and it's very buggy down here i've just deet it up even though i hate the crap so hopefully it'll keep them away but my large sweaty frame they're probably going to bite me through my shirt and i haven't got a huge amount of warm clothes tonight I've uh, got a spare t-shirt, a fleece, and a little gilet, gillet, body warmer. Anyway, back into camp, look. Oh, I nearly went for Burton, again. Ain't bad, is it? Really looking forward to it, I've got plenty of time. I'm all set up just to get my sleeping bag and that in. Yeah, it's going to be a chilled one. I might go looking for some firewood. Don't know if we're actually gonna need a fire, but the wood down here ain't that great for burning. I could whip back up the mountain and uh, see what's up there. I don't want to deplete the stocks down here for obvious reasons, but there is plenty of deadfall over there I can see. Ah, great little 30 litre sacklet. I thought I'd try out. Strong oxygen it's called. Nice airflow, big pockets on your hip belt. You've got a top and a bottom Doobry Ferk zip up there, which isn't actually attached, which is a bit weird, but loads of mesh pockets. It's really comfortable. I'll put a link to it. I've battered my way through um, thongs and thistles and it don't seem to have ripped or out. The old murder suit's made an out in in case it does rain. But yeah, oh, and there's the Ego River thingy-majiggy. Let's have a little turn on, you can see her. Yeah, three USBs. This one hasn't got the USB-C on it. I lied, like a cheap Japanese watch. That's a bit of a bugger. Normally it would go there. You've got your cigarette lighter one there. So you turn that on and off to be DC or AC. And then at the side, you can plug in whatever you need there, AC on and off. And here you have the solar charger or the 12 volt charger or the mains adapter. Um, apparently when you're running it off of a cigarette lighter in your car, it charges in about three and a half hours, which is what I was really looking forward to. But it didn't turn up in time. To be honest, I'd have struggled to put that on the bike. Not gonna go on about the bike stuff, just so you know though, I am currently only one-handed. It's getting worse every single day. Been to the doctors, gonna see what they say. Yeah, not good. So if I'm stumble fumming about today, so be it. Have a look if you haven't seen any of the vids. It's all for charity, blah, blah, blah. No more bike talk until next year. Right, I'm gonna get myself a coffee on the go, I think. Well, normal standards have definitely resumed. I've uh, just gone out, had a little fly of my drone, crashed it twice. 
retrieved it though and hopefully I've got some reasonable footage you'll see in the beginning of the shot beginning of the shot fancy feast stove look still going strong first one I ever made trying out a coffee bag tonight because why not I can hear the bleeding mosquitoes around us. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Oh, it's such a lovely spot here. Such a lovely spot. Right, have I got a cheat with me or am I gonna use my flint and steel? I've got a cheat. Press that on. Lovely jubbly. So what's new with you guys? I'm already thinking of next year's adventure. Don't know what to do yet. I do know what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna go on about it until next year. I wanna get a few walks in. Hopefully I'll be starting feeling a lot more energetic soon. Hopefully shed a bit more timber, get the old arms, chest and shoulders back. Cause you know, you can see I worry about how I look. That is a good tent. Gotta say, was it the Cloud River 2? Saar River 2. I'm mightily impressed with it. I'll show you around later on when I'm inside it. But yeah, loads of room, loads of room in the vestibule. I'm happy with that. The Cloud Peak 2 I used on my last trip it, it did do really well. I mean, that was 15 days, used it, what, 12, 13 days. Um, really can't complain. I bet it stinks now, like, but yeah, all good in the hood. Not a lot to tell you guys, just bloody happy to be out. Uh, next week, I think I'll, well, I know I'm gonna set my hammock up. I'm really missing my hammocks, but I bought one with me for a chair, so I'll have a little snooze in this later. Moz is about though. I went through, cut some wood, really hard work. I've done the bare minimum. Ain't really gonna need a fire just to keep these bitey bastards away. But um, yeah, it really ain't good. Anyhow, oh, a couple of thank yous while I'm here. Um, the likes of Wild Bear that give me a shout out, Tim from Born Outside, mate, the support you gave me over the last few weeks, really, Born Outside, if I remember, I'll put a link. Um, really can't thank you enough. Sandy, obviously, for joining us. Um, and Cole from Outdoor Gear Essentials, Stroke South Coast Outdoors for donating all that stuff. The support from all the people that followed me, donated and everything like that, I really, really can't thank you enough. This really is the last word about what's just happened and we're gonna get on with the camp now. But I'd be remiss if I weren't to thank you all. Um, Tim, you've been a legend, mate. Oh, and Lundy. Don't forget Lundy and Rooney. They come out to see us. Still ain't figured out what they bleeding said. Oh, this ain't gonna work out well with me duff hand, is it? sit for a bit and I'll put way too much meth in that stove So what do I think of these coffee bags? Not sure you're gonna be able to see in there without me spilling it all. Oh, I'd spilled it all. 
It ain't a bad cup of coffee, to be fair. Better than NAF Cafe. Does the job. The only thing is, I mean, what are they saying? They say that these are recyclable. They say leave it in three to four minutes. Mine's been in forever. Yeah. Does come. You might as well just use bleeding one shot coffees if they're coming in them. I didn't know they come in them. I thought they come as loose bags. So I probably won't be having them again, but they do taste nice. Went to Aldi, because I'm posh and everything. Oh yes. Normal service resumed. What have I got to eat tonight? I've got some stuffed pasta stuff with some sauce. Got some spicy couscous, some tins of mackerel and some wasabi peas. I know, sounds delicious, right? Still trying to keep the timber off. That's a lie, since I've got back, I have been a glutton. If it's got chocolate in it or sugar on it, I've eaten it. For a cheap and nasty hammock, this is quite comfy, but I couldn't sleep in it. I bet I'm getting bitten a buggery underneath by them poxy mozzies. Still comfy. Oh, me bum. <laughs> I want to find a nubby. <laughs> He's a total legend. Uh, what a pro. A nubby. <laughs> and that's what you get in. How was the trip down, John? Ooh. Bit overgrown, wasn't it? Sweating. Someone's been down here, eh? Yeah. So I, I sawed up as much wood as I can, mate, but my crab hand. What, you didn't do enough? No, definitely didn't do enough. What are you in tonight? Um. Start off with a bit of oral, oral if you want. <laughs> you ain't wired up right, mate. I'm in my tent. Baker's, what do you think of mine? Baker's tent, yeah, lovely. I thought it was going to be really buggy, so I thought I'd just go tent. But... Yeah, it is pretty buggy down here. How are you, you legend? Well, round the round the UK coast legend. Thank you very much. I've already done it. I'm not talking about it anymore, because otherwise it turns into a coast to coast and I don't shut up about it. <laughs> do you want to have setting up? Yeah. No, you're all right. You stay there. Uh, you know, I'm busy and everything, look. It is a bit hot down there, isn't it? Hey, guess who crashed his drone twice? Joking. Nearly lost it and all, it lost its signal. I thought it was over there by the needles and it's about half a mile behind me. <laughs> got it? I've oh, got it, yeah. Me bum hurts so, though, John. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I'm not on YouTube anymore. You jacked it, have you? Jacked it, so... It's just nice to get out and chill out with Nobby because it's been a long time. Well, yeah, hasn't it? Well, I looked at the last time I actually come out. It was it was winter, wasn't it? It was. Missed you. Love you, sir. Ooh. Bless him. He's special. What are you drinking, John? Uh, I've been treated to strawberry daiquiri. Nothing says wild camping like a strawberry daiquiri, does it? What's it like? Monster, it's nice actually, sweet. We could do with a bit of ice, but. Oh, sorry, uh, it melted on the way down. Well, thank you. You're welcome, dude. I have got. That's alcoholic Lil, whom I can. Oh, me bum! <laughs> Good here, though. I've been wearing these headphones all day, I ain't playing any music or anything. Be silly, really, isn't it? I'm loving this. Nice setup of yours, John. I don't know if it can see you or not. Can't, but. There you go. A long time, mate. Long time. Not for you, but. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. She's doing the bizzo. Three things on charge. Still got 95% charge on her. Yeah, happy days. Happy days.
Johnny's got his little stove on. I've got my little fancy feast on. But I forgot my spork. So I've been whittling. I still need to hollow it out a bit more. It's not meant to look good. It's meant to be so I can eat me bleeding dinner. Um, and I've only got one working hand, so it ain't the best. But I'm gonna keep fudging with it until I get to eat. So today I'll be eating cheese and tomato tortellini on a bodged spoon. With a sun-dried tomato stirring sauce. Mmm. And it be very nice. Look forward to me couscous and fish later. We didn't get much dip in the spoon. Hard work trying to uh, shiv it out with a neck knife and a claw. How's yours going, John? Slowly. Cooking now. Got a purpose, that little stove, innit? 40 minutes later. What you got? Sausages. Sauce. I try to stay away from sausages nowadays, but I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> you like the look of it, you like the taste of it, you ah, like yeah. the feel of it. Show me how to BMX. BMX? What, if I'm in a race? Yeah. <sighs> All fed up. Not fed up as in, it's so rubbish. Fed up as in, we've eaten. Fire on the go. I would tell you that's called Tropical. As in, tropical, but an ale. It's another Aldi special, you know. Can't stop spending me hard earned cash. John's in his scratcher. You all right, John Bob? All right, mate. He's just chilling, just chilling. Just chilling. Really, really lovely night. I've had a lay in a hammock. Went to watch the sunset, which right at the moment disappeared behind a cloud. So that's that one buggered. I'm hoping we stand a chance of a night lapse or two. But probably not. Not really a lot to say to you guys. Is there? Johnny can't stay awake when it's dark. That ain't actually a bad beer. A little bit gassy for my liking, and I'm going to be up all night pissing. What is it? Tropical flavour? It's got a slight citrusy twang to it. And I've just literally spat everywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It tastes like a bitter. But with a citrusy twang. Mm. 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 I was getting too comfy in the hammock. And it's too far away from the fire. And Johnny won't tend to it because, well, I'm his adult supervision and I was too far away from the fire. Just working on the uh, depth of my spoon. Sorry, I've got old rocks in my eyes and all sorts. Johnny is mesmerised by my manliness. Oh, slept like a log, but I feel like I've been beaten. This sleep mat definitely ain't the comfiest. Everything was so pretty windy last night. I'm gonna state that. Uh, yeah, it did pick up quite a bit. We got a little bit messy, so I didn't really bring you in. 
much. Good to be out. Oh, good God, we can have a brew in a minute, I think. Almost have another little half hour in bed. Undecided. Oh, I feel like a broken man. How are you feeling, John boy? Yeah, top of the world. Top of the world. It's a bit of a heavy one, wasn't it? Yep. He's very talkative first thing in the morning. Gotta say, I'm liking that tent. Loads of room, vestibule, comfy, you can sit up high. Lightweight, not too keen on the colour, but they do it in green. Johnny's in his white hills, look. You can win one of them. If you donate to the charity, you get put into a draw for one of them. Not no one of them, you wouldn't want to win one of them. You're put into me. Johnny's not feeling it this morning. Coming in, John. It's coming in. <laughs> right, the old fancy feast on the go. Love that stove. Let's have a look at what a drunken one-handed man can muster. Johnny really ain't impressed with my spoon. You don't like it, do you, John? No. Two spoons together, look. So we're all done, look. You can see where we slept. The fire pit does stay here all the time. Picked up the other people's shite. Johnny's really excited about climbing the cliff. <laughs> you really ain't right, are you? What, in the head? That as well. It's uh, It were a bit brutal last night. I'm not gonna lie to thee, as you can see by the lack of filming. But, we're off. I need to find my flat cap. I do not like wearing bandanas. Muffs, buffs, whatever they're called. Oh. I'm not even walking the right way. All a bit sideways. Bloody Sasquatch is. Ow. Ow. Uh. All this to get an uninterrupted night. I gotta say, I'm liking this rucksack. I had to fiddle with the chest strap a bit, because it popped off and I got duff hand. But, yeah. <sighs> Which way is he coming? Up and to the left I went, okay. Bushwhacking. Oh. Come on, bobblehead. Jesus Christ. I'm not filming you, John, no, would I do that? Look how comfy it is behind you. <laughs> I 
It wakes you up in the morning, boy, doesn't it? Right. I didn't actually think I was going to do that. <laughs> We've got more schmuck, schmuck. Not even a word. More stuff to climb through. Look at my hand holding that tripod. Does that look right to you? You don't look right. I ain't right. Anyway, maybe B-roll, may not be. Bye. Ta-da! Outside, it's so long since we've been deep in the woods with the fat lad. We need to step away from the screens. Go pack a bag, we'll pop some lunch. You need a break from the wife's flatulence. You've been too long inside, you're about to buzz. I just let us out and let us dream. And go wherever we want with extra cream. All the way to the top, and you know we won't stop. Step away from the screen